Hi, my name is Tom Lazarus. I'm starting a new business in my life. I've done a lot of things. Uh, a lot of it has been really good. I've won a lot of awards, a lot of celebrity, whatever. Uh, but now I think I have found my calling. I'm opening up a new business. It's called Sticky Keys Vintage Typewriter Repair, Los Angeles, California. I was in a thrift store looking for old anything, really, uh, and I spied in the corner an old underwear, the big honking thing. Uh, it was dusty, it was weird, but I looked at it, and it was like I was Superman, and that I had x-ray vision. I could see the underwood disassembled front of my very eyes. It came apart. All the pieces separated in place. It was, uh, and then it went back together again. And it was, my mind was able to see exactly how it was made. I, I bought it. It cost me $15. I brought it home. I looked at it. I took it apart without any instructions, without any manual knew where every piece went, put it all back together again. It's, been, it's as if I was there. It's as if I had done this before. I started paying attention to vintage typewriters. Uh, there was a Corona 3 I saw up on the internet. hard to tell that it was a typewriter. It was under a pile of uh, mouse poop. Uh, I just hosed all that off. I took it apart. Again, no instructions, no manual. Cleaned every piece. I repainted it. Uh, I got gold leaf and re-lettered it. Uh, I put it back together. I had bought it for $8.00. Dust, dirt, and carelessness. In these days of overworked machines and tired workers, the damage caused can be serious. I have a gift. And so, I got an Oliver. Oliver was a, a late... 1800s up to maybe 1920, they had the three, the five, the seven, the nine. Very popular, very odd, because they're not designed like the way we know typewriters that come up and do that. It doesn't do that. They're bat wing. They came in like this. I got one that was totally in pieces. Uh, the guy had was like me, he got enthusiastic, and then I don't know, I don't know what happened. My imagination said that his wife with a knife and the But that aside, I felt I had been there before again. So I started putting it together. No instructions, no manuals. And in an hour and a half it came together. I know my brother who was a combat veteran in in uh, Germany in 19, maybe 1963, 62, the War of 62. He was able to take apart an M16 rifle, which was basically 33 parts. 
uh, and he took a part in a two and a half hour span. The Oliver, I put together in an hour and a half. Springs, pieces, uh, carriage band, rollers, plate, and, uh, and it worked. <laughs> Restoring a Molly. A Molly is uh, a typewriter that was made in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, 1919 and 1924. There were 11,000 made. They were designed by a jeweler named Gustav. I'm making that up. Molly, M O L L E. They made 11,000 machines. He died just as they were hitting the market. They did not sell particularly well. And so he made the, Mo uh, the Molly 3, which is really a quite wonderful machine. His idea was to make it with 40% less number of parts. And he did it, and he did it successfully. And you could take it apart, it said, within a minute without any tools, which, if you know how to do it, it uh, you can do it. It took me a, probably three months to figure out how to do that. I'm trying to restore a Molly to showroom condition and uh, this is what it looks like when I got it. This is me working on it. And this is what it came out. Very proud of the Molly. Uh, my workmanship is museum quality, uh, and that's why I'm opening this business. I'm have a warehouse uh, in downtown Los Angeles, in the old uh, fashion district, and I have uh, 14 workers. And we're uh, we're working. We got machines. People are sending them to us. You'll be able to see a. Uh, contact information at the end of this video and in the meanwhile thank you very much for your patronage and thank you very much for your patronage <laughs>